So a little warning before I start today's video. Content is graphic and it's a little gross. Viewer discretion is advised. Enter at your own risk. Mm -hmm. Well, mm. once you get rid of the mucoid plaque, all things will be perfect with your health. Well, there's absolutely no evidence or scientific support. There's no clinical trials. There's no peer reviewed research that even shows mucoid plaque exists. It's real, I've seen it, it's come out of my body several times, and that's that. N equals one. Yeah, mucoid plaque is definitely fake. I healed my IBS by getting rid of mucoid plaque. Nope, I healed my low testosterone by getting rid of mucoid plaque. No, you can't heal anything by getting rid of mucoid plaque because mucoid plaque does not exist. I healed my brain fog by getting rid of mucoid plaque. There is no such thing as mucoid plaque. I healed my ignorance by getting rid of mucoid plaque. Doesn't exist. What's up my friends? Welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. If you didn't guess it by the intro, I'm going to be diving into the subject of mucoid plaque. Is it real? Is it fake? Should you focus on getting rid of mucoid plaque to heal your skin, to heal your autoimmune disease? Is it the root of all evil? Fact of the matter is, is when you go through a healing process, your body is going to expel some garbage, especially when you do deep cleansing work like the liver cleanse, like coffee enemas, like salt flushes, like water fasting, like intermittent fasting, like cold exposure, like saunas. When you put your body in a place of deep autophagy, you will be surprised at some of the stuff that oozes out of your skin and comes out of your butt. Now, for those of you who don't know my story, it took me about a year to naturally heal my skin. In month 11 and a half of that healing year, I had the biggest, most enormous flare up of my life, full body. It was accompanied by tons of bloating and digestional issues and gas, and my gas was absolutely foul. Now, whether you wanna call it mucoid plaque or an ass monster or a petrified poop, Something came out of me that was the size of a small trash bag. It was black, it was stringy, it was just like most of the pictures you see online of mucoid plaque. That flare up in month 11 and a half went away so much faster than the other flare ups. Two days later, my skin was pretty darn near perfect and that was nine years ago. I haven't had a flare up, I haven't had skin disease, I haven't had a single issue. Now I'm not saying that I was healed because of the getting rid of the mucoid plaque. It took hard work, dedication, and I've stayed healed for this long because I've customized my diet, I've stayed living an extremely healthy lifestyle, and I've done the things it takes to be a healthy human. Really, I just wanted to add some dialogue and a different perspective because so many times, people like you who are trying to heal your gut or trying to heal your skin get held back by these little debates and these little nuances should I focus on mucoid plaque? Is mucoid plaque real? It doesn't really matter. Whether it's real or not, who cares? Don't get distracted with these sidebar debates between vegans and non-vegans and science people versus evidence-based people and research people versus N1 people. It really doesn't matter. Take a holistic approach. Focus on customizing and making everything personal to yourself. Do the basics and be super consistent with them. And whether you believe in mucoid plaque or you don't believe in mucoid plaque, you're going to heal anyway. There's a good chance that no matter if you believe in mucoid plaque or if you don't believe in mucoid plaque, when you go through the healing process, especially when you're focusing on the cleansing and detoxification part, there's gonna be some weird stuff that comes out of your body. You might have some weird smells. You might have some weird skin flare-ups. You might have something come out of your butt that looks like mucoid plaque, but maybe it's not really mucoid plaque. Who cares? Anyway, guys, leave your comments and questions down below. I'd actually really love to hear from you just because it's an interesting topic. Do you believe in mucoid plaque? Do you think it's fake? Have any of you guys ever had this experience like I had where you dumped something out that looks like mucoid plaque, but maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I'd absolutely love to hear from you. 
leave your comments and questions down below. That's gonna do it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. Leave your comments and questions down below. For those of you who are looking to get a hold of me to become one of my skin health clients, there's a link in the description box for everything. Consultations, the Three Phases Workbook, and Skinessa, which is the best probiotic on the market. Again, guys, I'll be back with many more videos really soon. Don't get too caught up in the arguments and the details. Focus on the big picture stuff. Customize your diet. Gently cleanse and detox your body. And become the healthiest human you have ever been. And your skin health will. Thank you. Peace.